What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and to kick off this week because I consider the week to begin on Monday I'm gonna do a little channel update video and I have a variety of topics here written down that I want to talk about and so hopefully I can cover everything in sufficient depth. So let's start it off here UTSA Dynasty. Everybody wants to know Hurricane when the hell are we gonna see season 5 debut? And I did the offseason a couple weeks ago right after finishing the last bowl game and I wanted to get to season 5 very quickly and I did not get around to it last Monday and didn't get the game played the first week played until I think Thursday or Friday I was going to work on it over the weekend and have it planned for today but I got sick on Friday night Saturday morning woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm pretty sure I've had the flu all weekend and so I didn't do anything over the weekend I only played maybe an hour or two of video games and that was only because I had bought Forza 4 on Friday and I wanted to play it but all I did was lay in bed and listen to podcasts all weekend so I'll get that out this week it will be out this week and I'm sorry for the delay but it is coming and I have already played the first week and this delay here in the times in between my video uploads for my big series kind of ties into what I want to talk about next Raiders and UTSA I, I always talk about how I want to get those episodes out more consistently and I do really badly I love those series and I love making the episodes but still in a typical week for a while now I've only been getting out one episode in each series out a week usually so that's only two episodes for a week in those series and I would like to do more and especially because my output in the past has been a lot better than it is right now but one of the things that's been holding back kind of for more consistency in those series are that I put a lot more time and effort into UTSA and Raiders now compared to maybe Vikings franchise a year ago and so one of the things I did is I looked at what I was uploading and how often I was uploading and I, on my tablet I have reminders uh, it's a days left widget that I've downloaded that reminds me how many days is until certain events and on my tablet home screen I track how many days until NCAA comes out Madden and the opening day of the season which is also my birthday so we have 57 days my tablet is telling me right now until NCAA comes out under two months a little over 100 days from Madden 106 and 115 for Ravens and Broncos on September 5th. So I've looked at where I want to be when those games come out. I just finished up the Vikings franchise months and months on end way too late. I drug it out way too long just like this guy dropping back way too far with RG3. You just don't do that and so I don't want to do that on Madden 25 and NCAA 14 carry over UTSA and Raiders just because I have to finish up this season I'm taking forever to do it. So I've been looking and it's like okay I want to get to this many seasons in Raiders and this many in UTSA and so I did the math and found out how many videos I have to do a week and I'm like okay if I really want to do this then I have to crank up the intensity and be proactive about it and so one of the things I did and I'm not sure why it's taking me so long to even consider this and I don't get a lot of like messages about this so it wasn't even fresh in my mind but I just thought like Back when I did Vikings franchise, that series was pretty much always 10 minute quarters if I remember correctly. And the 10 minute quarters that I played with didn't get me the most realistic number of plays. But it was basically a perfect formula for me because the games I would play in the Vikings franchise ended up being around an hour to an hour and 15 minutes long. Whereas now, I'm doing UTSA on 8 minute quarters, but that's without the type of runoff Madden has. And with Raiders, I've been playing on 13 minute quarters. And so my game files, my capture files that I play end up being around an hour and a half to two hours long. But of course, each game plays differently. But the fact of the matter is, is that the games are taking longer to play. Therefore, it's taking longer to edit. Therefore, the videos are longer. And everything is at least a little bit longer than it was with the Vikings franchise. So I'm like, I'm, I was on Twitter. It must have been Thursday or Friday before I got sick. And I was like, what do you guys think? To get the episodes out a little bit faster, what if I drop the minutes on the quarter lengths in those two series just slightly? I'm not looking to make a drastic change. And when I asked this question on Twitter, a lot of the responses were along the lines of, I like this if it helps you make the videos faster. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that realism is a very important thing to me. And that's why I try to put as much realism as I can into my series. Why do you think I make my own stat lines and play the game realistically and try not to abuse it as much as I can? And I'm a play-by-play -play commentator because I care about realism. I want to give you guys that experience. And quarter lengths, stats, and game lengths are all a part of that. 
But I think right now is the right time to make a slight change. Like I said, nothing drastic. And so what I have done is I've made UTSA Dynasty now seven minute quarters again like it was. I know it was in season three, I believe. And for Raiders, I've dropped it down from 13 to 11 minutes. And so my hope is that the game times, how much time it takes to play each game, is basically going to be around what Vikings franchise used to be. And it may not seem like a big deal. Like, how is dropping one minute on UTSA going to allow you to put two or three videos out a week? Well, what it's going to end up doing in the, in the grand scheme of things, really, is per episode, it's probably going to save me around 10 to 15 plays a game. And this is all going to add up because it's less time playing, it's less plays to go through when I'm editing, which will probably mean there's less plays in the episode, so the videos are going to be ending up being maybe a minute, two or three less than they usually are, which means that my commentaries take less time to do, rendering takes less time, uploading takes less time, everything is shaved just a little bit. And I'm not going to say that now that I've made this change, each series is going to have two to three videos a week. I'm going to let however much I can produce do the talking. If I say I want to make three videos of UTSA this week and you get two, then you got two videos and you lost hope on the other one that wasn't there. And so I do think this will help and we'll find out this week and next week. The current Raiders episode and UTSA episode I'm working on, those are still the 13 and 8 minute quarters. And so the next games I play will have that change. And I actually did go ahead and play a Raiders game with the 11 minute quarters. And it actually was faster and it was fun and I'm excited to get you guys that video as well. So I gotta get on the ball. I gotta get on it. Part of it's me. It's not just how long it takes to do this stuff. It's also, you know, the mental things. It's like, oh, I gotta dedicate two hours maybe to play this game. I don't know if I can do that right now. I want to go to bed in an hour. So if I want to accomplish my goals of those two series, it's time to crank it up. And I have made a slight change now, and hopefully it does help in some ways. But I think I've covered that enough. If you have any more questions, I guess you can follow me on Twitter and ask me there. I like interacting with you guys quite a bit on there. So let's move on. Vikings franchise, of course, I've talked about this quite a bit. It's now over. I finally finished the Super Bowl episode, Season 6. And I'll probably link that in an annotation or something for you guys to go check out. But... I read the I've been reading the comments. I'm going to continue to read them because there are so many positive responses about how they thought this was one of the best sports series I've ever watched and just how much people have enjoyed the episodes. And it's been like 136 or 137 episodes. This thing has been running deep. And continually feedback on the video, guys. I'm loving reading the comments. And as requested, I'm going to show you guys career stats. I may even do this on a live stream. Maybe a short half hour, 45 minute live stream. Or I could do it in a video. Why don't you guys let me know in the comment section what you'd rather see. But a lot of people want to see how things finished up. And who are the best players in the Vikings franchise in the year 2016. So I can show that to you guys. And I also kind of wanted to show where are these players from the Vikings franchise now in real life. Because. If you didn't know this about me, I got into the NFL by playing Madden when I was really young. And I really want to do a commentary on that story too because it's kind of funny. And it just shows you the origins of uh, my love for football. But I kind of want to show you just, okay, if you're a big fan of Mark Harrison and the Vikings franchise, well, he's a member of the Chicago Bears right now. So go ahead and follow him. Like, I now follow Jamel Fleming and Nate Potter because the Cardinals must have watched my series. Now I turned the Vikings into Super Bowl champions once I drafted those two guys. And so they were on the ball last year and took both of them. And so I definitely want to do that. And what else do I have on here? It's been almost a month since Parker Patterson. Yes, I need to get him on my channel. So... Next, I want to start Blitz the League 2. Yes, the campaign mode. Something very different than I've done in the past. And I said I wanted to do it once I wrapped up Vikings franchise. And now it has been wrapped up. And so, I do want to begin this week. I'm starting to feel a lot better. I'm overcoming this flu. And I think by the middle of the week, or Thursday perhaps, I could begin Blitz the League 2 campaign. I gotta play a few games, maybe do some live commentaries before that, just to get a feel for the game again. And I wanna make a live stream only playthrough of Blitz the League 2's campaign. It's a very different game than Madden and everything else. It's a very more mature rated game and there's a lot more violence and stuff in it. But, uh, you know, I have almost every football game on the current generation of consoles, so I wanna play a little bit of everything. And a lot of people wanna watch Blitz the League 2 anyway. So, next, Ultimate Team. Yes, I have made a new team on Madden Ultimate team and it may revive my desire to play it some more and I have a video coming it's already edited I edited it earlier today and it's basically the new team I constructed I have an actual goal and vision in mind for the way I want to build this team 
and beat people online with it. And it's all about having a zone defense and a quick pass, elusive offense kind of. And the first game, I'm not going to spoil anything, but watch the video. It isn't out yet, but keep an eye out for it. It's going to be pretty cool. And I almost forgot about this because I was so concentrated on the Raiders and UTSA shorter quarter thing. But I, obviously, I want to finish all four years in Sammy Hollins by the time NCAA 14 comes out. And by my math, midweek last week, sometime it said I had to do about 4.8 videos a week. So I got to get on the ball there. I want to get all four seasons done and hopefully make him on Madden 25. Put in the right camera, Z. Yeah, it's going to be a wish list video coming up soon, by the way. But anyway. That's everything I wanted to cover today, guys, in this channel update. I thought it was very productive. I talked about my Raiders and UTSA shorter quarters and some other things. And so, feedback below, guys. Follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.